Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Arkham Horror. Well, let's get into this. Uh, I think we're getting close to the end game here. We have one, two, we've only got two, oh, we've got three, three gates. Now, I've tried to be holding off the gates because I'm worried about gate bursts. But if we look, we've got six clues, six clues, nine clues, and an elder sign. So we have one, two, three, four gates we can close. So unfortunately, we've only got one, two, three gates on the board, but we are ready to just mass close. So the hope is that one more gate will open and then next turn we can all go to the outer world and we can all close. So the plan this turn is to get this Elder Sign into uh, someone's hand, maybe this girl's, and might do some uh, healing as well. He needs his stamina fixed. He needs his uh, stamina fixed. Stamina fixed. Yeah, so they all basically need a bit of healing. So we might might do a bit of a boring turn, just healing everybody up. Now, she has the gate box, which is awesome. Now, unfortunately, she's got a lot of clues, but she has six movement. And he's got a lot of movement, but he's got the plus two speed here. And he's got clues. So who's got the most clues? Who's got the most movement? Three movement, four movement, five movement. Okay, so he's got five movement. The reason we're looking for someone with high movement is that we want someone who's going to stay on the board and have the elder signs and be able to just walk everywhere needed for that. Okay, so that's kind of our plan. Uh, first things first, it is... Angie, did I already turn, move the turn marker? I can't remember. Let me just quickly load up the game again. Yes, I have moved the return marker. Okay, so here we go. She's all right for movement. And she's only got one stamina missing. What have you got here? Exhausted, spend two movement points and one sanity to roll and die. If the die is success, draw one spell, gain three clue tokens. If it's a failure, lose two stamina. So two stamina would actually knock her out. So this is a very bad thing for her. Okay, I think she's just going to go one, two to the hospital. Angie is going to go one down here and kill this guy. Look, this is an easy kill for her. Basically, it is just zero to the will modifier. I don't know why zombies are so not scary or ghouls. Okay, so that is a pass. And it's only a negative one. So we are going to do... I think we're just going to use the automatic. So that just gives her four dice because it's four plus one minus one. Is a four dice because we only need one hit. I don't want to waste a spell. Oh, it'd be really nice if this worked though. Okay, great. Whew. Bam. Oh, look, and we've got three. If she has three or more monster trophies, excellent. So let's grab that. You can now fetch these using the, the special fetch card button in the mod. She could sense it. The creature that destroyed her once before had returned to repeat the job. Last time she faced it, she was at the peak of her powers. This time, she only had a few half-remembered spells and a couple of useful items. Hopefully, she could find it weakness before it claimed her life once again. <laughs> if she has three or more monster trophies, place not this time. We have one, two, three. Casting one final spell, Agnes watched in satisfaction as the creature was utterly consumed. Not this time, she said. She may exhaust this card to re-roll a failed spell check. That is awesome. So 
Let's put that in play. Meanwhile, this guy, he's going to come down and kill the Shambler. Yoink! Okay, let me go. He only needed to move one point. We have two speed up here, so I'm just going to go... Uh, bam, like that. Keep it on three. And what have we got here? Negative two and a negative two. That's pretty easy. So I think... We'll put her, his will up by one with the other focus point. So that is one die, because three minus two is one. I know this is complicated mathematics, but it is a fact that three minus two is one. And boom, we pass. And now we need to get that one point of damage. It shouldn't be hard. Now we only have, I keep forgetting to do this most of the game, but we have one monster trophy here, and we have three monster trophies here which means that this card is saying that we are plus one to combat checks. So that means he is three fight, including friendly rivals, plus four, one, two, three, four, plus two is six, I really should trade off this Tommy gun because that's six and these two together are six. So it's basically the same. Uh, what was I saying? So here's six plus four, which is nine. And minus two. Your blammer. Should be an easy kill. We only need one. Oh, jeez. Anyway, whatever, that is done. Oh, wait, with this card is in play, right? At the end, we have to do fight zero checks or lose stamina. That's not cool. Okay, so this guy's turn. He has to roll for his blessing first. Oh, no. One. That's terrible. So he loses the blessing. Didn't last long. Don't know what to do with this guy. I still don't know what to do with this guy. I'm just going to leave him at the church. Okay, so this girl, she gets another two bucks. And then she rolls for her retainer. That's a pass. She's had that the entire game. <laughs> Six clues. Uh, she's going to go one, two, three into the there as well. As in there, as in the, you know, the hospital. Okay, what have we got here? Daisy. Now, Daisy's also pretty low on stamina. She's got no money, though. Uh, yeah. So, what she's going to do is first she rolls for voice of Ra, which is four dice. That is a pass. Then she's gonna roll for Necromonicon, which is six dice. So it's basically, because this guy's plus two law, these, the law minus two is negated. So it's just whatever her raw law is, which is five plus one for Ra is six. So she gets six dice for this. Should be a pass, you'd imagine, right? Booyah. Okay, that's a Mist of Relia. Uh, we want one, two. So I'm going to use... She's got speed here and this thing. That's two speed. Oh, she doesn't need to tap that one, does she? Two speed, so she's going to go one, two into the hospital as well. It gives her two more, which so I guess we'll do the tome. If you pass, remove one doom token from the doom track. So, bump, 
It's a negative two, which means you get to roll six dice still. You boom, and that's a pass as well. So we'll get rid of this. Yoink. Okay, and when she moved, she's going to take two dollars from you. And two dollars. Oh, how much stamina has she got? No, yeah, so just that's it. So that's all she's doing. Okay, meanwhile, this bloke is at the diner. Don't know what to do with Oh, you know what else she's going to do? Uh, choo -choo -choo, implant suggestion. You may cast an exhaust while in Arkham to choose one monster in your location. Oh, it's got to be in your location. That's uh, in your location really makes the spell terrible. It's basically for, it's like a an evade check, basically. Keep thinking I can move monsters with it, but I can't. I'd love to get this grug out to be killed. Okay, so this bloke, what are we going to do with him? Actually, he's got a silver key. So let's go to the bank. One, two, three. Spend one movement point. Oh, we've got to spend a movement point. We don't have a spare movement point. Oh, well, I guess we'll just uh, stay there then. Oh, wait, I went to the asylum. I went to go to the bank. Okay, this guy's at the unvisited aisle. He needs... Let's get a clue. So that's one, two. He still needs monsters. Oh, there are no monsters. I just killed them all. And that's it. We're back at the beginning. So... You're just going to do healing this turn. It's pretty boring. So she's not going to spend any money. So she gains one stamina by default. Takes it a max stamina. She's in a street, so she does nothing. He's in a street, who does nothing. He's at the church. Knowing you're engaged in God's work, Father Michael blesses you. Thank you very much. Boom. I knew it was in there somewhere. <laughs> okay, so he's blessed. Yoink. Over here. She is at the church. She's going to spend $2 and gain full stamina. She's at the church at the hospital. She is at the hospital. So she's going to spend $2 and get full stamina. He is at the Bank of Arkham. Now... He's just going to draw a card for that. You find a penny with a strange sigil carved into it. Amused, you flip it into the air, then gasp as you feel the southern gathering of magical forces around you. Make a luck minus two check. That is five. That's three dice. You blammo. Beautiful pass. If you pass, the penny comes heads up. You are blessed. If you fail, you're cursed. Wow, that was lucky. So that's another blessing. Two blessings. Yabamo. That's awesome. And this guy is at the unnameable. Bonk. A hideous monster appears. Well, why is that so big? A hideous monster appears. Yablamo. Ooh, a formless spawn. Physical immunity, we are fine for magicals. Okay, so that should be fine. So we are two minus one for our sanity. Why did I put his sanity so high? So low. Okay, we're gonna use a mythos thing. Tap that as if it's a clue. Okay, let's do this as well. <laughs> Come on. Wow, this is not good. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, this is our last clue. You've got to do it, mate.
Oh, Jesus. That's the second time I've got it on the very last clue. You blam. Okay, so we've passed the physical immunity and now we need to just kill it. So we've got tap this for uh, plus five and this is plus four. So that is nine combat just from the cards plus five from fight. One, two, three, four, five minus two is 12. And that would be a success. Like I said, why is this? I, I don't know why I've got his uh, fight so high. I've got to change that immediately. Just wasted all our clues. And that's it. We're back at the beginning. And that was a very quick turn. You blam for the mythos. Taxes come due. Oh, we have a gate burst at the unvisited aisle. That's not good. So let's get rid of that sucker. Oh, a ghost and a cultist. Finally, a cultist is on the table. That's actually awesome. We have two people who need to kill cultists to get their ability to trigger. So uh, this guy is right here too, so he can kill that cultist. It's beautiful. Right, so we have squares and diamonds moving. Uh, we have none of those things. And we have circles moving, which we have none of those things. All investigators have scarred one half of all their money rounded down. Ugh. And then a clue appears at the science building. Okay, so rounded down. So one half of one is what 1.5 rounded down is zero so that doesn't lose anything she doesn't have any money he has one dollar so that is removed he has eight dollars oh no one two three four that's a terrible loss three dollars so he loses one five dollars so he loses two eight dollars one two three four And two dollars loses one. Okay, so that be that. Okay, so that was a pretty lame turn, but a necessary one. We've topped up a lot of our people. Uh, I want to. Oh wait, I need to do this now. So anyone in the streets has to do a fight zero check. So her fight, she has to roll one dice. This isn't good. Oh, beautiful pass. And his fight is two, but he has tons of clues. You blam. And that's another pass. Excellent. Yeah, so we want to do some sanity healing. We've got to heal this guy. Oh, he's only got three. To oh, he's got four total because something here. Yeah, here's his max sanity went up because we've got his card. Yeah, so I want to fix his sanity. And I need to give, this guy needs to get a whiskey. I have got someone with a whiskey. She's got a whiskey. So she can give the whiskey to him, give him a little bit of a buffer. I've got to tr move his weapons around. He's got very good weapons. Uh, he's got the enchanted blade. He's got the golden sword of Yahatala. But uh, yeah. Oh, I feel like uh, I feel like we're not making a lot of progress. We're like nine turns in or something into this. We're almost ready. Now we have one, two, three, four gates, but because we lost one, we've only got two. Oh no, that's right. One, two. We've got f two. How many do we need? Six, right? Yeah, we need six to win. So we've got two elder signs, and we've got one, two, three, four gates okay so next turn we're going to do a mass exit to the other world we're going to try and close all these gates in the next three turns we're going to move everybody who can close a gate out we're going to leave one person in town to uh 
Why have these not disappeared? We're going to move one person in town so they can move things around. So we've got one, this guy can close the gate. So that's one, two, three, plus there is a elder sign. One, two, three, four. How much movement does she have? She has five movement. Excellent. Okay. So yeah, this is a, uh, oh wait. And we also got a doom token, your blammo. Okay. Well, that's that. I'll see you guys next time.